Hey everyone, welcome back. So until now we have seen some of the authorization types, right? Like uh, the better token, um, also the OAuth 2.0. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use uh, basic basic authentication. So within Postman, right? So if um, any of your API does accept a basic authentication, uh, then you can go ahead and use it, right? So basic authentication, it accepts a username and password, right? Now uh, for this particular um, authorization, I'm going to use uh, a simple get request, uh, which is provided by Postman itself, right? So e uh, postman eco.com um, is, is a API which is present in Postman just for practice, right? So you can use this um, different API request from this API eco.com for your, uh, for practicing different things in Postman. So I'm going to use that. Uh, this is the endpoint, postmaneco.com slash basic auth, right? Now, the username password for uh, this particular API is postman. Postman is the password and password is the password, right? So using this username and password, you can authenticate uh, or authorize this particular request, okay? Now, let's see um, how we can do this in different ways, right? So the, uh, the straightforward way is obviously, you can select a basic authentication and then you can pass username and password, right? So, and then uh, you can directly send this request and it will be uh, successfully authorized and you will get a successful response, right? So authenticated true. That's the response of this particular API. So one thing to note here is when you provide this username and password, right? In basic authentic, uh, basic um, authentication. So that value is passed in the form or it isn't included in the header itself, right? So if you uh, open the header section, you will see um, there is an authorization uh, key which is added with a value basic, right? So basic is um, in the front and then after that, this is uh, basically the authentication which is or the username and password which is converted or encoded right in base 64 format so without encoding um, this is going to fail if you just pass the username and password so we have seen uh, one way of authorizing it by simply selecting the authorization type and passing that username and password but let's see how we can uh, pass it through the headers right so let's go ahead and actually make it no auth, no auth, right? So when I don't provide any authorization and send this request, it is going to fail, right? It's telling me unauthorized. Um, I'm also getting a status 401 on unauthorized, right? So that's expected because we don't have any authorization, right? Now, as I was saying, uh, we can add it in the headers, right? So authorization for basic authentication is added in the headers. Now we can also actually include a header by ourselves. So let's select the authorization header here. And okay, right. And then here I'm going to pass basic and I'm going to pass the postman with password, right? So this is our username and password and I'm passing it in a key value pair. Before that, you need to put basic, right? So that's the format of how you can pass the header. Now, if you think that this um, passing this authorization header with this particular value will work, then um, you are wrong, right? So there is one point which I mentioned, every, um, authorization or authentication header value should be encoded. Without encoding, uh, it will reject your request, right? So it won't accept this if you pass it directly like this, you need to encode this particular value. So when we uh, passed it to the Postman authorization, Postman automatically uh, converts or encodes that particular value. 
right? Uh, whichever the username and password which we pass, uh, Postman automatically encodes it and then sends it in the headers. But if you want to do it in the other way, like you want to encode your value yourself, right? Um, you can actually use um, one, this website, right? Base64encode.org, right? Um, this is where you can actually uh, encode your text, right? So here I am passing the text which I want to encode, which is my username and password. Right, and don't need to change any other options here. I'll just say encode. Okay, so it will basically encode this into base64 format, this particular text. And it will give me this value here. Now I can use this value basically in the header, right? So after basic, I can replace this text with the encoded value. So if we send the request now, it will be successful because we are passing the encoded username and password, not the text username password, right? So the API will accept that. So you can see authenticated is true and status is 200 okay. So it was successful, right? So these are the two ways you can, um, authorize your API using the uh, basic authentication. So whenever you work with any API which accepts basic authentication, then you can go ahead and use it. That it's a simple uh, way of providing username and password. Um, so nothing much you need to do in order to auth authorize this particular request. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show you another authorization type in Postman. I hope you like this video. Um, please, if you have any comments or feedback, please um, leave it on this video and I will get back to you. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, QS Script, where you'll find lots of other videos on different automation tools like Postman, Selenium, Jenkins, Maven, right? Um, and we are adding more videos every other day so don't miss out um on on this on this uh, chance to learn some new automation tools so keep watching and see you in the next video